Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Oh, David, is that you? Yep, it's me. Good. Oh, darling, I'm so glad you're home. You froze and kissed me. Yes, no, and here's a kiss. Thank gosh, your ears feel frozen. Maybe well, you, but it don't to me. That's good. Go away. Leave my ears alone. Oh, we're pretty. What kind of day do you have? You tired? Fine and no. Oh. Well, here's your tobacco. Thank Look. You. Will you look at that beautiful fire I made all for you? My little campfire girl. Well, you can laugh if you will, but that fire could have been made by a kleptomaniac. I uh, think you have your maniacs confused. Oh, well, what's a little maniac here and there? <laughs> oh, David, the oil truck was here. He filled up the tank. Oh, the God. oil man. He had the funniest orange hair you've ever seen. Uh, huh. What about him? I'm telling you. I'm telling you about him. Yeah. It's sort of, a, sort of the color of Shakespeare. You know that, that color? Well, he said, you know, David, he's only about 30 and he didn't have any teeth in front, not one. Uh, uh, what did he say? He certainly would think he'd have his teeth fixed, wouldn't you? I'm surprised you didn't tell him. Well, I was half tempted. Teeth are terribly important on a face. Mm -hmm. To me. Well, anyway, he said we had enough oil now to last us, so... To last us how long? Well, I don't know how long. I didn't ask him how long. I can't trust you with the simplest detail. David, when he said we had enough oil to last us, I said that was wonderful, and off he went. I think you were fascinated with his teeth. You mean without his teeth? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, that takes care of the oil business. Mm -hmm. Orange hair, that's all you I know. No, I had no idea it was such a rigmarole about winter. I mean, you know, setting in. Well, that's because you've been a little city dweller. Yeah, that's with it. a house is quite another story than with a city. Oil and insulating and wood bins and salt on the drive. Oh, yes, the storm windows are coming, dear. Well, why didn't you say so? I just did. The storm windows came. I repeat. Good. You hear this time? Yeah. <laughs> questions, questions. They're, they're all sitting on a pile on the floor. The carpenter said he'd install them tomorrow. Well, I don't think we ought to wait. Oh, what's the big hurry? We waited this yeah, long. It's using up the oil too fast. What is not having the storm windows, you cluck. Well, I may be a cluck, but I certainly don't see what the storm windows and the oil have to do with well, it. Not either. having the storm windows it allows the hot air to leak out of the house. It does. It the does. The house yes. leaks. Goodness, we should have that looked into, Dave. May I go on? Yes, yes, go on. Not having the storm windows mm. allows the hot air to leak out of the house. So. David, you know something. What? You're brilliant. Positively brilliant. Thank you. Nobody to look at you'd think you were brilliant. Well, that's very sweet. It's all right. It's all right. Now get off of my lap. We have work to do. I'm not on your lap. You had the look in your eye. David, now you're not going to start with them now. We're mm. having dinner soon. Well, now there's soon. no point in wasting time talking. Men who just have to do everything themselves. If I don't do it, Fritz will, and he has enough on his hands. Now, aren't you ashamed really? blaming Fritz just because you want to do something yourself? Oh, you think you're pretty smart, don't you? No, not smart. I just know my husband's. Hello, Hello, David. David. Hello. Mama David is going to put up the storm windows. Don't you want to wait until the weekend? Well, it'll just take me a little while. Claudia, where's the carpenter's measure? What do you want one of them for? What a hammer do? Well, first I need to measure, and don't ask questions. How I ask now, might don't know. ask questions, Claudia. You heard the nice man. What on earth does he want one? Oh, all right. I will just stay ignorant. Carpenter's measures in my sewing basket, David. I'll bring it right in. Well, it doesn't belong in your sewing basket. Well, I had to measure something. Well, use a tape. A carpenter's measure isn't for sewing. An inch is an inch. Well, in you any don't use language. a razor to scrape windows or a screwdriver to open cans, so you don't use a carpenter's measure for sewing. Well, wh what are you going to use it for? I'm going to use it to measure the windows. What on earth for? The carpenter did that. Well, each window is slightly different in size and the next, that's all. Now, how do you know? How do you know? Mm -hmm. Well, because that's the way it is, that's all. Well, maybe it's the way it isn't with our windows. Well, you I'm not going to, to argue with you now. This is an old house. No two windows are exactly the same. No. The carpenter, the carpenter framed each window to, to fit exactly. Oh, so. what a job. Well, David, I still don't think you ought to... 
Oh, Look, well. don't say it. Well, anyway, well, I still think you should. I can think, can't I? I'm not quite so sure. Here's the measure, David. Oh, thank you, Mother. Now into the den. That, that's where you said they were, didn't you? Yes, that's where I said they were. David, listen, are you really going to measure each one individually, separately? If you are, we ought to tell Bertha to hold you. All of the storm windows are neatly marked, and the windows neatly measured, and we're in the bedroom all set to go. Hmm? I am amazed. My jaw is positively dropping in amazement. Why is your jaw dropping? They actually are all different sizes. I told you they'd be. Now, let's get started. Right. This north window measures you uh, to 36 and a half by uh, 47 and one quarter. Check. Check what? Check you're right. How do you know I'm right? Well, you just measured it, didn't you? How do you know I measured right? Oh, David, now stop mixing me up. You just said it's 36 <laughs> and a half by 47 and a... Go ahead, go ahead. Mix now, go ahead. Easy. Now, now, pick the storm window that measures that exactly. Seems very complicated to me. What does? This way of doing it. Can you think of a better way? Well, I haven't thought about it yet, but if I did, I could. Well, save your strength. David, do you think this is the way the carpenter would do it if he were doing it? Who cares? Well, I was just wondering. Maybe he has it all figured out already on a nice piece of paper at well, home. Well, it has not no interest to me. All right, all right. No use to get huffy. Well, here we are with all the storm windows neatly piled and measured. Now, all we have to do is find the one that's 36 and a half by 47 and a half. You don't have to keep repeating it. I want you to understand what we're doing. A child could understand. Well, I am not dealing with a child. Very funny. Hey, Claudia. Hey, Claudia, be careful. Anne. Of what? You're playing with glass, you know. David, I know windows are made of glass. I'm never quite sure what you know. Anyway, put I them try. down gently now. Put them down. They'll break. Listen, now, you tend to your own windows. But, David, if, if you don't want my help, I am perfectly willing now, to go downstairs Nobody said anything and... at all for you to get peeved at. Well, I, I just want you to handle these windows very you're carefully. just lucky I have such a free and easy disposition. Mm -hmm, so free and easy on the draw. Oh, you. Yeah, uh, here. Yeah, this is the right one. Oh, oh, do they go on the inside or the outside? Of what? The window, of course. Weren't you watching me while I was measuring? Yeah, I was watching, but the window was open. And why do you think the window was open? I don't know. Because it's such a lovely, warm night out? Well, I only... So that I could get some lovely, fresh air? But David, or I... Or because I wanted to get to the outside of the window, hmm? Well, I guess there's a reason for everything. Usually is. David, don't they usually put up storm windows from the outside? Mm -hmm, but I'm different. Oh, I There's see. no very good reason for not putting them up on the inside. Say, I need a stepladder. Just the small one will do. Oh, take the man size one. Small one's teetery. Only girls teeter. It's not girls, it's the ladder. Oh, David, please, you'll get me nervous. Come on. It certainly doesn't take much to get you nervous. Don't you go around accusing my sex for that, I, I too. I didn't say anything. Else. Well, that's because I nipped you in the bud. All right, you can get the small ladder. It's here in the closet. Stop acting so glum. Did you say glum or dumb? David, listen, you promise you won't fall out the window, will you now? Please. Well, of course I will. Exactly why I'm doing this, just so I can fall out the window. Well, I wouldn't put it past you. Now, now when I'm up on the ladder, you hand me the storm windows and I'll open the window. Simple enough. Well, let's see if you can do it. Honestly, the minute I let you start doing something around the house, you become absolutely impossible. Bossy, stuffy. Now stop talking so much. Work. What's the big hurry? Well, you're the one who's in a hurry, not I. Oh. Well, while you're up on that ladder, David, it's no time to hurry. Be careful, please. Well, there's the window. David, da David, please, please don't look out so far. Oh. It's out of this window. David, David, be careful. Please don't lean out so far. I'm looking for the little hook. Well, I wish you'd waited until tomorrow. All right. Now, now pass me the storm window. Be sure it's the right one. How can I possibly miss? It's all by itself. The others are in a pile. Oh, all here right. you are. All right. Now push. Got it? Push. Don't I'm get pushing. There. there you are. Fits exactly. Yeah, fits right into place. Hooray. Now I'll close the top half of the window and hook the bottom half. There. There we are. Yeah, simple, huh? My gosh, it is simple. I couldn't be more amazed. 
I don't know what you expect. Oh, a lot of abracadabra and so forth. Oh, darling. You're as good as a carpenter any day. Thank Better you. even. Yes, I know. I'm cheaper. <laughs> now, the next window, it's 35 and three quarters by 48 and an eight. They certainly are all different. Now, uh, let me see. Which one of the storm windows is 30? Oh, oh, here it is. All I right, got come it. on, push it up here. Yeah. All right, I'll climb up the ladder. Push it up to me. You got it? Yeah. All I'll right, hold till on. you get the rest. There we are. There we are. There we are. Yeah. Now, be, be careful, David. Yeah, I'm all right. Now, stop worrying. Hmm. Well, I'm not worrying. I'm merely... Oh, well, what's the use? All right, now pass it up. One storm window coming up. Got it? Uh oh. Oh, oh, what? This one's stuck a little. The outside frame must be oh, warped. Oh, gosh. Well, it's practically brand new, David. I'll have to make this fit, but it's not going to be easy. David. D David, you're tearing. There, there we go. David. Now, now it'll fit. David, come down, please. Hey, get away from the ladder. I'm only trying hey. to suggest. Hey! Oh, hey. My hey. Darling. oh, David, are you all right? Of course I'm all right. But you fell down in the middle of all the storm windows. Are you sure you're all right? Go away from me. Are you, are, are you cut or anything, I'm darling? I'm not cut or anything. I'm just sore. Don't as... say it. Why shouldn't I say Are you it? sure you're not bleeding to death or anything, are you? I think you wish I were. David, if you could see yourself. <laughs> what? What's so hysterical? You. <laughs> I heard a crash. Is everything all right, Mama? Oh, David. He teetered. Oh, <laughs> the master builder himself. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> a pickup lunch can be a refreshing lunch if you include a bottle of ice-cold Coca-Cola. For sparkling, delicious Coke makes any food taste better. Next time you're at the grocery or drugstore, carry home a carton of Coke. Put those six bottles on ice. Then everyone in the family can lunch refreshed. Oh, Mr. King. Yes, Mrs. Brown. Look, we don't have any need for it, but how would you like a second-hand greenhouse? A greenhouse. Well, that's one thing, Mrs. Brown, that has to be first-hand. What a mess. I'm just on my way to get the dustpan and broom, but as long as Davy's all right, what's a few window panes? Oh, I think that many people would admire your complacent attitude. Mm, it's not complacent, it's resigned. With Claudia and Davy, it's like the weather. You don't know what to expect next. As for the weather, tomorrow will be a nippy one. Well, it is winter, I suppose. And with winter, I'm told that he who sneezes first, sneezes best. Uh-oh. Sneezes? Is that what you said? The sneezes I said, Mrs. Brown, but these sneezes are... Merely something to sneeze at. See you tomorrow, Mrs. Brown. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. And ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. This broadcast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now, here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. <laughs>